These kids now are interested in $50 million, $200 million, but they forgot the history of the people who are investing in them. Those people started small. Well, I'm Leo Stan uh, Eke, uh, chairman of Zionist Group, a tech entrepreneur. The new age has a lot of falsehood in it, okay? These kids now are interested in $50 million, $200 million, okay? But they forgot the history of the people who are investing in them. Those people started small. Now, when you come into a country like this, you learn when you start small, and your risk level, okay, is highly reduced. If you go big, because human capital is deficient, the infrastructure is deficient, government policies are very erratic, you understand, okay? Now, as you start small, you grow, and you learn and, and alter some of those things that will help you alter your destiny, because the ultimate purpose is to alter your destiny, okay? So I, I started small, like any other entrepreneur you read today, Okay, some started in a garage. Okay, most of them didn't inherit wealth. Now, so how could they have started? You start with your own. During our time, you have to start with your own sweat. Okay, until you build such, get to such a level with a system and structure in place. And then people trust you. But because our kids today pass through business schools, connected to people, okay, and they, they now want to go from average above. You understand? Instead of starting, a lot of us started from minus one. And when you start from minus one, it's like taking your blood. You had a right to go and work, and you had a right, okay, to be an entrepreneur. But the entrepreneurship came with a lot of pain. Yeah, what I've done, I, 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 my social responsibility agenda is very confidential. Now, recently it has to come open because I wanted other people to emulate me. Otherwise, I've done it for many years. I've trained a lot of people. I've sponsored people. I invested in businesses, okay, across both churches and all the rest of it. But I was touched this year. First, my state was in crisis, okay. I saw people, every person lost hope, emo state, emo state. People lost hope. It's like they are dead. Why they are living, okay? So you go into a family, they've lost hope. They don't see a future. So I decided to launch a 1.5 billion project. So, Today, I'm transferring 20,000 to 1,300 emo people. I don't know them, but I have their biometrics, okay? I have their iris captured, okay? It's a non-interest fund today, so the banks are paying today, okay? They all get credits in the account. But what touched me, I've been helping people get jobs, sorry, get jobs and admission uh, to university because the poor people don't have, even though they've done very well, and these are the people that should be accommodated, Somehow, they can't see the VC, they can't see admission officer. So every year, I take it as a responsibility. That's why I pick all my phones. Any person who calls me, I must pick the call to help some of the poor people to get into Nigerian university. Some of them are sent them abroad. But the particular student touched me. Okay, she's a child of a woman who is, who is deaf and dumb and was impregnated by a man. And this kid is a whiz kid. She made five A1s and three credits but can't get into a university. Now, I had to, when the mother, when the uh, aunt called me to help, I wanted to know from the girl why she couldn't get admission, if she really got this result. And I now investigated, she was genuine. And when I talked to her, she said she'd never seen computers. And when she went to take jam, she was asked to use computer. Because so that was her first time. But she had an average mark, which meant she was good. Now, she's gotten admission, but that taught me a lesson that there are millions of other Nigerians, okay, from poor families, poor homes, poor communities, who have not seen computers, but they have to write jump exam, okay, using computers. So, and I decided to launch with Imo State Government. So, I gave them the fund, and they have started to train the first 5,400 uh, pre jump students. So, they trained 600 last week. And I'm paying those students money for transportation, pocket money, for the one week intensive. So the last week of jam next year, all of them will go for a refresher course one one day. And I'll pay them transport. It doesn't hurt, it's not a lot of money, but we are creating the next leaders that will drive this economy. And those kids come from poor homes because they want to challenge the status quo. 
not only in Nigeria, they want to challenge the global status quo so that those multinationals, those countries that have been ripping us off, these people want to defend our economy. The children of the rich have no reason to defend the economy. Thank you.